Let's go Turkey Day! Tradition always starts in Detroit. Lions coming into this Thanksgiving bash streaking with Frank the Tank. Back to pass and it's intercepted! Aiden Hutchinson has another one! They are at home, of course, taking on the Detroit Bills. Buffalo at home too, I guess. Allen fires to the end zone, wide open, touchdown! And there he is, Stephon Diggs! I know the records make it look like another. Put the game on in the background while you get ready for the festivities. Well, this one may be worth actually watching, especially if Detroit can serve up some Hinkle McCringleberry as part of the main course. Give it to Williams, looking for his third of the day, and he's got it for the touchdown! Three for Jamal Williams and a league leading 12 on the year. Rialto, California represent. Game preview guy knows what's up, Jamal Williams. He's played a central role in their three game win streak. He found the paint three times last week. To my dismay, didn't thrust any hips. Come on, refs, let the man be himself. Williams, left side, racing to the end zone, and he's in for the touchdown. Williams was only part of the Lions' rushing onslaught in their upsetish win over New York. Bill's defense has to contend with Justin Jackson, who gave the Lions 66 yards on over seven a run. DeAndre Swift scored. Lions toked the rock 37 times. It changed the game for them. Swift gets it right up the middle, and he's in for the touchdown. If Detroit could replicate that performance, it would keep Josh Allen and company off the field, as well as their own secondary. It won't be easy versus the Bills. They have held running backs to 4.2 yards per run. You know, that's not great, but it's not terrible. Plus, the most recent back they faced, Nick Chubb, stud, and held him to 1.4 a carry on 14 tries. Chubb is stuffed. Matt Milano have a day. The Bills play the run like that again. It shifts the pressure to Jared Goff. He was the passenger again last week. 165 yards, no touchdowns, 83.0 rating. No idea. INTs, though. He's the tattoo artist guy from the commercial. He's one of the QBs in the NFL. Goff looking the other way. Now over the middle, and it's Jackson makes the catch inside the 10. Amon Ross St. Brown remains his go-to. Eight targets last week, caught seven of them. 76 yards, a little better than his 2022 average, which now sits at roughly 65 yards per game. Goff loading up, going deep. Has Amon Ross St. Brown for a big gain. And he's down inside the 30. So watch for the one-on-one -on -one between him and Buffalo cornerback Dane Jackson. He is their number one CB for now. He's had a great 2022, but not a great week 10. Amari Cooper gave him trouble. Jackson gave up 85 yards, a touchdown, and a rating of 148.4. Fires, and it is caught for a touchdown. Bills are one of several teams that have been hit by the injury bug. It hurt them the last two games, too. They gave up over 320 yards to Jacoby Brissett. Three touchdowns didn't pick him off. A rating allowed over 115. Cooper went for over 110 yards and scored twice on him. All of that a week after they let Kid Dynamite blow up against them. Deep to the end zone. That's a man down. Trench warfare will be good and key when Detroit has the ball. The Lions have given Goff good protection, only 15 sacks taken, matched up with a Buffalo front that has an under 20 blitz rate and a 30 plus pressure rate. Taron Johnson coming out of blitz, and from the other side, it's Milano. Buffalo's defense doesn't ballroom blitz much, but Detroit's does. Only six teams send extra heat more often. The problem is it hasn't produced many sacks. They have just 17 for the year. Blitz coming, Jones sees it, throws underneath, and it's caught. Lions did rack up 10 QB hits last week, couple QB takedowns, but Detroit may need something special from its offense because their D doesn't match up well with Buffalo's O. Detroit's pass rush has trouble sacking the quarterback. Bill's line usually gives Josh Allen good protection. Allen trying to bring the Bills fans to life, and he's got Gabe Davis for a catch. Lions blitz a lot. Allen likes to run past blitzes, sort of like Justin Fields did to them a few weeks ago when he ran for 147 yards from the QB spot. Fields, oh, baby. turn it on the speed. Trying to outrace Okuda, oh. and he'll beat him to the goal. Buffalo is primarily a passing team. Detroit, primarily a team that lets teams pass them by. They did a good job last week, mind you. Picked off Daniel Jones twice, held him to a 74.1 rating. Looking. Can't find anyone. 
and now just throws and throws it away. Boy, he bought as much time as he possibly could and couldn't find anyone. New York isn't really much of a passing team, though. Detroit still is allowed a 95-plus rate for the year, still giving up over eight yards per attempt. Never want to be over the eight line, man. Try to get the run game going. Nope, it's a fake. Throw far side of the field. Clark Robinson has it. First down and more, and he's inside the 10. Now the Lions secondary test themselves against Stephon Diggs and company. Remember, Allen is averaging over 290 yards passing per game, so it's still all about the skies with them. Only 197 yards last week, but no picks, rating over 100. Allen pulls it back, fires over the middle, caught for a first down. Diggs is still going. Diggs scored, averaging over a C note through the air per game still. Allen fires to the end zone, wide open touchdown, and there he is, Stephon Diggs. Never know who Allen will connect with most aside from Diggs. Allen went to tight end Dawson Knox a lot last week. Allen to the air again. He's got Knox at the 20. Just know the number two in their passing game varies week to week. Major statistical mismatch on third down, where the Bills are top three offensively, the Lions bottom three defensively. Part of that tied to the fact they have played the run pretty poorly. They're one of a handful of teams that have allowed over five a carry. Jones gonna go that run that way, keep it, get a block because of first down. Again though, what have you done lately? They held Saquon to 1.5 a run on 15 tries. With Barkley who runs into a wall. Wow, the Lions played that well and Barkley's gonna lose nearly three yards. They didn't do as good against Daniel Jones, gave up 50 yards on over seven a carry to him plus a touchdown. Jones gonna run it himself. Gets a block from Barkley. Daniel Jones in for the touchdown. Allen is Buffalo's rushing leader, though he wasn't the main man on the ground last week. Devin Singletary, over 80 yards, over four and a half a carry. James Cook, over 80 yards, over seven and a half a carry. Singletary adding to that total here. Another first down run. First and 10, here's Cook. Delayed handoff with room. First down for James Cook. Good game to kick off Thanksgiving. Game preview guy, thankful as ever for fans and football and feasts. And your predictions and takes, which I know will show up in the comments section, our picks show up on the screen. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.